Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Zero, and welcome to Mr. Hop's Playhouse 3, which is a horror game where you must deal with a giant rabbit doll that may or may not want to eat your soul, and also the third game in the Mr. Hop's Playhouse series. The biggest change to this one transitioning to more of a 3D style. Six months ago, I defended myself from a monster that took away my home and my parents. I thought that my friends would be there for me, but when I told them what happened, they just laughed at me and spread rumors like I was some crazy killer. It got so bad that I had to drop out of school. Things have been awful ever since my Nana died. I wish she could call me her little gem and tell me everything was going to be okay. Just one more time. Get water from the kitchen. So I did play the demo of this previously. This is the full release of the game. And of course this could be considerably longer and probably more polished than the demo was. My hiding holly doll. My only friend in the world. And like the previous playthroughs I've done in Mr. Hops, who of course be aiming for all endings. I like to draw. It always helps me feel better. Good for you. I can push that. Let's keep that there for right now. Flush the toilet. Squeeze the ducky. Very cool. Every chair is pushable, theoretically. Got some notes here. Ruby, pizza and fridge. I will be home late. Aunt Debbie. We'll get the pizza later. Let's look around just a little more. I don't think there's anything too useful here. Mr. Hops was a secrets kind of base game, so I do need to kind of like fully explore the boundaries of every room. No. no. I hate the dark. It's fine. Mr. Hops is dead. He would never come back for a third time. <laughs> yeah, I did. How did you get down here? Yes, get back to bed. Do I really want to? Why do I want to turn around? Dolly, there's nothing behind me. Everything seems fine. Ish. Interesting that that the chairs stay where we left them. That means they also could theoretically get stuck to where we can't Move them. It's me. Open the door. D Dad? 
open the door, Ruby. That's an evil rabbit. Don't open that door. But since I'm a YouTuber, you have to go and open that door. Yeah, see, it's nothing. Hey, look, a rabbit doll. I heard. Give yourself to us. I don't think I will. Dead end. Uh. Mr. Hobbs Playhouse Triple. Where am I? I can't believe he found me. You're in hell. Or Purple Ocean World, one of the two. Oh man, I love gems. Remnants of much larger, more powerful stones can be found all throughout this domain. A testament to the Dark Lord's riches. A sliver of the Six's energy surges through them. It's in a strange language I don't understand. I'm pretty sure it just beamed it directly into your head. This is pure schlock and... I'm 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 ready for it. I guess that's one of the stones we need. Whoa. This is really maze-like. Gonna make sure we don't miss any of these. I am not sure what it is with Mr. Hobbs and like spike traps in hell. Oh. This is don't even don't even like bother even walking into them. He is just Obsessed with spike traps. Then. I will show that little girl. Some good old vest and spike traps like we used to do in the old days. Yeah, see? So we need one more of those. One spike. Assumingly, that's all we need, but we'll uh, comb the whole area. Okay. Next zone. So here's a more traditional place. Hello? Can anybody help me? No. I usually assume stairs means that's the place you're supposed to go. And that's the problem with this type of game. You have to figure out where you're not supposed to go if you want to find secrets or objectives or things like that. Hmm. So I remember when I played this demo, I was, I was kind of thinking, it looks like it really makes me think of a PlayStation game called um, 
A, a few of many, actually. Uh, one was a little, a little rascal? It wasn't that great of a game. And the other one was a bit better. It was the uh, Jersey Devil. Jersey Devil was a pretty good... It, it wasn't good good, but it was like a decent enough... Uh, aesthetically and atmospherically um, kind of Halloween-ish horror platformer? I say horror very loosely. It was for kids, but... The setting was horror, like... Goblins and ghouls. Okay. On that note, when we're talking about this error of, like, graphics, uh... The Halloween levels of Gex always felt were scary. Back in the day, not, not nowadays. She could never know the truth. What's the truth? You don't think I can handle the truth? Black Lens Manor. I feel like I've heard of this place before. Have you now? Go back. Let's go in this door here. Two elevators, are they both leading to the same place? Whoa, there's a... Demon? Stop stabbing. That's not cool. I feel like there's not much strategy to this. It's 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 as primitive as the era of games it was it's emulating. Yeah, okay, so it does loop it back around. But I don't think we we're fully done there yet, so let's go back real quick. Secret? Come on, step it up! Ow. It was another curious horror game from this era. Uh, I, I don't know, I never played if it was in, no, it was any good. But I never there was a lot of marketing for it, because that's what the monster reminded me of. And it was called Run Like Hell. Run Like Hell. Supposedly it wasn't that great, because it, it just disappeared off the map as soon as it was out. Ow. I walked right through that one. Go right first. It's one of these puzzles. Green. I'm not sure if I'm solving correctly, and I'm just getting extremely lucky, or what? Or if it's just a anything you can put as green. Um... 
Seriously, did I just brute force a puzzle in the first run? I need to confirm something. I need to go the other direction. I did! Oh no. I just have a good sense for this kind of stuff. Like, it's like... Because he, here's... If, if assumingly it, it's not... Assuming I solved it in the first run legitimately like that. Um, I just had like a, a good logic for like, if I were designing a puzzle, which ones would I pick in order? I'm just like, all right, so that's how I'm going to do it. And try to be the right one. So like, scary. The Dark Lord corrupts and feasts upon the souls of the living. A deity that once reigned as the guardian of hope now resides within the shadows of despair. Malevolent, spiteful, and fierce. The, uh... Yeah, another of the ever pro tag. Because Mr. Hop's Playhouse 2 was... Yeah, okay. That poor girl is tied up. I need to help her. It was a prequel. It, it showed, um... I think the Nana was the, uh... Previous owner of Mr. Hop's. Feed him. And then, you know, Mr. Hops, like in a lot of horror movie sequels, comes back and takes out the previous survivor. So we're gonna need to free her soul. I think this is completely different from the dead one, by the way. Like, I, I, I don't see any similar patterns whatsoever. Hmm. Well, we'll come back to this. That did something big. What? Why is there? A, why is there a cave troll? Hey, can you come over here and smack this? I, I don't know if that's what you want me to do. How about these? Um. The symbol says that, so, uh, smack this one. That didn't work out too well. And this cave troll thing is so bad. Pull the pee! This cave troll is weak to it. They are not into that. Ow. Yeah, they are really not into that. How much pee do we need in that thing? Okay. So now we need to uh, get the actual pee symbol shaped jar. <laughs> Go put some water in that. So you doubt me. You were just like, oh man, let's just make fun of the thing. It looks kind of yellow. What's probably just water? No, because this is the water. The next one gonna be blood. Yeah. So it was, it was, it, unironically, it was pee, water, and blood. The blood is filled. The ritual is complete. And you have fallen to a pit of acid for some reason. Perhaps you should never top the power of pee. And people gotta take that out of context. Why is there tentacles here? I'll just push the tentacles away. You've pushed the tentacles away. Congratulations, you solved the puzzle. <laughs> I'm having fun though. I mean, like I said, this this game is pretty. 
It's pretty uh, cheesy, but like in a good way. Ah, uh, thank you. Ruby? How do you know my name? Who are you? Ruby, it's me. I'm... No. Wait, never mind. You know, it's a little weird. I'm, uh... I'm, I wasn't used to, like, having another dimension to it. Because I remember the old, uh... Oh, we're dead. The old Mr. Hops, you know, like, the whole gimmick was you couldn't really see... What was ahead of you. Because, you know, it's two-dimensional. You had to kind of, like, do a little bit of, uh... Preemptive assumption of where spikes were gonna be. But now it's like, oh, it's, it's, it's really, I can, I can see things. There's dimensions to this world. Mr. Ops is actually cloning up really fast. Yeah, that's not good. That's not good. Why'd I ever make this door? <laughs> Lily, I would have cut well, them without this door. Really, you really are my little gem. Nana? I can't believe it! It's so good to see you again, dear. I'm digging these anime cutscenes. They're pretty soulful. Ruby, how did you get here? Mr. Hop, he found me. He took Mum and Dad away too. Oh no, this is all my fault. It is. Nana, you used to live here, right? Don't you know a way out? It's different to how I remember. Let's keep moving. Okay, so we're jumping characters Okay, let's go back. No, you uh can't open that door, but you can go down here. Stairs. Try to stay on the ground floor. Looks like we're gonna have to go up now, I want. No, I don't want to deal with you, my friend. Bonk. Unyielding in his royal reign, the Dark Lord stole the six medallions that kept balance among the realms and used them to forge three strong subordinates from the ever-burning fires, willing to gather more souls for his excellence. We need to push this, can you help me? Because look, this is what I mean, like, I I'm just weirded out because of the dimensional thing, because I was just so used to, like, Mr. Hops is a very 2D series, you know what I mean? It's like, oh, I can push things at an angle. Push it there for the moment. Uh, we'll check out by the upstairs here, why not? It might loop back around to the, uh, the other stairs. There is a, uh, crate there. I see you when it stood over there. Okay, and then you would push the other crate there. So I will come back to this. I will go back, explore the other stairs. Crystals! Oh boy! Ooh, lore. 
The South never ends. So they say. Why, sir? Nana, I really hate spiders. Yes, me too. Especially rabbit spiders are the worst. Everyone hates rabbit spiders. Red key. Two red keys. Hmm. Come, child. We're done here. Come with me. Let's go. Filming Isabel. souls. Nana, who is that? Is she a person? Esther. It's so good to see you. I wish I could say the same. Why don't we all play a little game? You'll go first. <laughs> Ruby, we need to get that door open. I'll look for a switch. This game sucks. Is it a... It's a, uh... It's a... It's a, it's, it's literally a Freddy game. In this way. You find that bloody switch yet? Child, the stall's really gonna eat my face. It's like curses, they close a door. Why do I ever put switches on these doors? Coming this way. I think the reason you got me the first time is I must have overlapped with you respawning. Because I think if you hit the wrong one, like you just spam these, it, you know, he instantly spawns and attacks. Like you're coming this way. No. Straight ahead? No. You are coming this way. Yep. It's like curses! Doors! Why does it make doors in hell? Ooh, I thought I was dead. Well done, Ruby. Are you okay? You left me alone. Let's just get out of here. Nana is not very happy with you constantly abandoning me to do all the work. I've already went through enough of this stuff. <laughs> Don't walk down the dark hall where you die. Oh my god, you gotta redo the whole thing. Let's get out of here before we have to do this puzzle again. Nana, what is that? That is the fallen guardian of hope. The entity. But that means we're in... Yes, dear. The underworld. How? This is where bad people go. We're not bad, right? No, of course not. Do you remember that necklace I used to own? She never pirated an anime. The ones you said protected us? Yes, I used them to keep the entity and Mr. Hop away from us. But as I got older and weaker, I couldn't do that anymore. 
We must find those medallions. I have to get down there to her. Whoa. Love me those crystals. Oh! Got a little greedy on that one. I, I shouldn't have done that. Oh man, acid pool. I'm assuming acid pool's bad. Let's go. Oh, I almost slipped into the acid pool. Oops. I want that crystal. Thank you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Good thing it's like, at least if one foot's on the platform, you're good. It's one of those games. Love me them crystals. No, you won't. Huh? I guess that's for later. Now, which way do I really want to go? I guess it's later for when I want a barrel of laughs. a puzzle here. We need the symbols for the puzzle. Why are you trying to pitchfork me? It's not allowed. Yes. Well, there is less scares, obviously, so far. I think this is actually better paced and fluffed out than the demo. I swear that girl will be the death of me. Yeah, she was. Okay, some more of these. I mean, this room is red. So red would be... That thing, the Eye of Sauron, and then the horns. Assuming I'm, I'm thinking of the right order. Ow. Blue room. Okay. And then... Triangle, and then X-Men. You win! Ooh. 
<laughs> so this is why I'm not invited to hell anymore anyway. Because like, this guy is like, he's just mocking us. He's too annoying. <laughs> I am not sure if I like this area. No, but she fell through the floor, so I'm assuming you would keep going down. Alright, let's trace back a little bit. See where I'm supposed to go back up. There are three switches to open the gate. We'll go right. Never mind. We'll go left. You know what? We'll just go straight. How about that? That's our first decision. We'll go right. Roar. Wait! She's up. I mean, yeah, they have to make him like outrunnable because you, you don't really have any options to see him. Like, there's no one like to really hide. Uh, yeah. I mean, I hear you. I smell a pro tag around here. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah, that's the main room. Okay. Need crystals. You win. I'm hoping it despawn you. Now this was uh, this was in the demo. The, the, the demo was almost entirely this actually. But I think this is supposed to be a. Uh, Longer game? I think this might be about... I wouldn't be surprised if this is like a two-hour game. It's my guess. Going by the uh, previous Mr. Hops. And I guess if you hear that chime, it means you've got them all in an area. So maybe there is an ending tied to getting all of them. Oh no, it's 2D world.
Oh! You're safe, Chan. Rabbits don't exist. Yes. I need to get back to Nana. And quick. Don't we all? Yep, more spikes. Girl laughs. I'm trying to see if we can, like, kind of wedge in here and move this. This is a, uh... Pretty in death maze. Preying upon the young using terror, the Dark Lord overindulged in his feasts until he attempted to steal the alluring soul of a girl named Esther. In his desperation to not let a soul so pure slip away, just as one had done before, he was reckless. Reckless and there's also zombies. Come back, so I may stab you slowly with my pitchfork. Oh boy! Ooh, ho, 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 ho. Barrels around here. A lot of crates, too. I hear the whispering. Do you hear the whispering, too? key right there. Haven't found all the gems yet. So, if it works, if you, have, you know, if you haven't picked up on it yet, it's like there's so many gems per zone, and then when you get them all, kind of like ding. I'm assuming the, uh, the good ending is going to do with the Collecting all the gems. Get those crystals, Bandicoot. <laughs> Another key right there. Didn't know it's that one. Maybe some more crystals around here. I haven't found them all yet. Oh no. Another toy. Hi! I'm just a toy. Definitely not here to eat your soul. Hmm. Suspicious. Oh, I would that went my way too fast. Probably gonna need our friend pretty soon. Yeah, that's no good. You want to go? You must run. Run for the bear. 
and hide. I'm a snake. Bark. There's more than one. Well, yeah, there, there was a whole family of them, remember? That means we got to deal with a tiger soon enough. We got any crystals around here? I'm really into collecting crystals nowadays. I'm Coco for crystals. What is that light? Does it want me to follow it? Yeah, we're not following that light. in our 2D world. Mr. Hop was just furious. I'm pretty sure this is Nana when she was pregnant after the events of, uh, you know, her game. Mr. Hop is just like, how dare you have a child and be happy? I had a dream Mr. Hops was following me. He was very upset and he said, how I dare you have a child okay. and be happy. I think he's really salty. So there's a guy like gotta check behind these. So there's sometimes like secrets or keys. It's like secrets unlock the dolls in the uh, arcade room and then red keys for every two unlock a new arcade game. Hmm. Big place. Locked. Not locked. Like, here's a red key. Okay. Man, push that button down. That's probably for a secret somewhere. The question is, where's button number two? Not there, clearly. Not sure how much I like this room. Very big, very much ambush. Oh! Could be switches on the back end of these, too. Like, I can never tell if I'm making anti progress, as in, like, I'm going the wrong way, which would then lead me out know, to collectibles and things, or not. And that's the tricky part, you know, with this game and the world. You don't want to, um, go the right way right away. It just sounds weird. Stab. Esther would not succumb to the Dark Lord's might. She managed to enter the realms where the Six lied and use them to overpower him. It was only in his defeat that he realized who this Esther was. He had been foolish. Angel Wings. 
on the wings of an angel. She is not like the others. Really? We'll check it up here a little bit. Yeah, there's an evil purple cube blocking my way. Very evil. Very purple. Very cubey. Did you now? Do it again. Do you smell that? Do I smell what the rock is cooking? Nice. Oh, God. What are those buttons? Call the crystals, though. Esther would not succumb to the Dark Lord's might. She managed to enter. Secret. Egg. I wonder what's in here. Hush, little baby, don't you cry. Or a YouTuber's gonna come and commentate your life. How horrifying. Locked off. But I don't have... Okay, we can push the chairs. Right? Oh, we're doing this. Whoa, ho, ho, you're a little close that time. Maybe he has to put the push the uh bad. Burn. Whoa. Over here. Okay, I gotta go over here. Go, go over here. Oh, this is an annoying. A little annoying situation. You've been defeated, Saiga. Finally, the first medallion. Nice. Now what? Is that is that what you look like nowadays? A little interesting. It's quite a bit of a uh, cooldown. Well, there goes the entity. Got blasted like Team Rocket. Never had a chance. Do you think Miss Beverly ever smiles? Only when a puppy is in danger. Can we go play now? No, never. It's real.
So we're back to our other character. And it's a small world after all. This looks like my nursery. Curious place. Curious convoluted place. Yellow triangle. We are turkey. Someone's laughing. Come back to this yellow star. And there's these symbols on the floor. Is this always open? I'm sure it was. She speaks such nonsense, she sees things that aren't there. Got another key. Purple moon. Okay, got all the gems. Wow, there's a lot of puzzles. Got it. Whatever that did. This is a curious puzzle. Okay, this is gonna be the right one. You did it! Whatever that is. Got it. Star. I guess there was items I was supposed to pick up in other areas too. Oops. It's all of them.
Let's never go back there again. Just a silly place. Nothing can stop me now. I have powers beyond your imagination. Unironically. I can literally just... Oh, you're a little... Little tricky there, I see. Nice, and there we key. Very curious area, we'll come back to it. Oh, a secret beans. We did. We managed to shoot the laser beams. I remember this light beam is going to hit you. Let my family go home. You will not keep us confined again. Once you come out, you didn't eat a light beam to the face. Everyone loves light beams. so hard to forget it. They didn't even want me. Any more crystals? You look like a Zelda enemy. Yeah, I can't use my thing anymore. Nana? Ruby! Oh, I see. Goodness. Are you alright? Yes, but I think something is following me. Stick close to me. I can put an end to this. Stick close. I can now shoot laser beams. I think. Chef came home.
How did you do that? With the medallion's energy. It's how I beat the entity last time. Nana, you're so cool! Well, thank you, dear. Stay behind me. You want to come inside? Come on. Try me. I have optic blast. And you will behold. Okay, I hit for a different angle. There we go. It wants her. Please keep it away from us. Okay, we probably have to clear out the area. Down. Optic blast. Optic blast. Behold. With the six tightening with an outgrasp, the fallen guardian of hope, along with his loyal servants, were confined to their own domain, imprisoned until her inevitable aging weakened her mortal body. One more. It's all the crystals. Just gotta find the last tentacle. Whoa! You don't do that. That's not cool. Blast. Big doors right there are probably where we were supposed to go. I should have went back there. Nana, I just want all of us to go home. I know. And I will make sure of it. And things to go back to normal. Like you being really old. I know you meant well with that comment. Thanks. Can you go back to being old and weak, Nana? Rather than, you know, the laser shooter. What the? Korok boss fight. You want to go?
Oh, cool. You may think it was still hitting me. Anna, that was amazing. You still want to be to be an old lady, huh? That's right. Maybe you uh, maybe you watch what you say next time. Show a little more respect. Okay. Another one right here. Bam. These are interesting cutscenes. Flat. Nana, this is just like that maze we went to once. Yes, at the carnival. With that creepy jester? We can get through this. Stay close. Stay close. It's on. Is there actually a creepy jester? Oh no, there's diamonds in here. That's a pretty creepy gesture. <laughs> the tricky part is not making it for the maze. It's funny all the dang uh, crystals that could potentially be in here. It's like Pac-Man. Oh, he apparently was there. Nice. A foul stench when I wake up. In this? Thanks for the help. There's that light again. Okay, we shouldn't grab that. There's probably more crystals in the maze we need to get. Maybe this one ends the stage? It did. So she passed away. Only two more medallions to go. Are you okay, Ruby? Ruby? <gasps> Damn tentacles. Always taking us to purple goo world. Uh don't hurt me. You must be Ruby, a fitting name for such a valuable soul. I would not dare hurt you. You're the entity. What do you want from me? Only your safety, young. As well as my own from that grandmother of yours. Nana Esther? But she protects me. Young Ruby, she is not what she seems. Some time ago, she stole my medallions and imprisoned me here. Because you're evil. 
She saved us. We are cursed, forsaken, not evil. And this curse is a burden we must carry to help unfortunate souls cross over to the other side. The six make our suffering more bearable. They belong to me, and Esther is nothing more than a malicious thief. She will hurt you too, young Ruby. I don't believe you. You're lying. Is that so? Tell me, if she cared for you so deeply, why would she give you a toy that has taken everything from you? Your parents are gone. Your friends have abandoned you. And now you're all the way down here, in this dark abyss. But she... Don't you see? Esther thinks nothing of you. She has lied to you, and is now using you to steal what is rightfully mine. Help me find her, and I will give you everything. Yes, let me trust the weird goat snake demon that I speaks in the scary voice. Again. I have to find her. You have no idea how special you both are. Who are you? Why are you helping us? When the time comes, you will know. No. Flat. I can't believe she's gone. With her mind and body frail, the Dark Lord emerged from his confinement and took back all that was rightfully his. Esther was imprisoned and, in his vengeance, made sure her daughter and granddaughter were to suffer a similar fate. I don't know, a key. Keys are pretty easy to get. Ow. I don't think I will. Jump. Jump. No! No, 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 no. The dongo is weak to smoke. I think it snuck a little attack in there. I, I wasn't paying attention. You really like in the roll out. I 
Fink. Come on. Come on. One more hit. Later. Loser. It's number one down. Oh, but you ain't one in here? Nice. Got a key. And I think we're done here. Do we go right first or left first? Curious. Maybe it doesn't matter. The house in which Esther had lived was realized in the underworld as a strong reminder to the entity of the shadows that she cannot ever be freed. That looks pretty bad. We're gonna loop it around. See what else we can pick up here. Okay, that was all the uh, crystals. I can't do this without her. Tiger. Oh, I see we about the same technique. Ow. Wow, you uh That's good. Tiger, uh, was it too powerful? I think he's gonna drop the kid off at the orphanage. Yeah. The kid is Nana. Esther or whatever. Give my family back to me, and I won't have to break all of your toys. This might be the final stage. I mean it looks looks kinda like it, you know what I mean? I should not have been just standing in acid. Mr. Hops. Mr. Hops really likes goo. Shooting spikes, apparently. Spider mode. Probably can't damage it. Whoa, that's getting a little too close. We're done. Come on, you boys. 
Exercise Bonbon. You're done. You have all failed me. I will destroy her myself. Okay. Nana, you took my life away from me. You're the reason I'm even here. Ruby, I never would have given Mr. Hop to you if I could have helped it. They took control of me. I'm so sorry that I couldn't protect you. Another lie. You're still my little gem, right? <laughs> Enough of this. You will fall here, Esther. Nana? Bannon. You have all failed me. I will destroy her myself. All right. So we have all the crystals. It's like Crash Bandicoot. Click all the crystals, right? Young Ruby is right here, safe with me. Ruby, are you okay? Young Ruby has come to her senses and is now my subordinate. She no longer wants anything to do with you. You gave me that toy, Nana. You took my life away from me. You're the reason I'm even here. Ruby, I never would have given Mr. Hop to you if I could have helped it. They took control of me. I'm so sorry that I couldn't protect you. Another lie. You're still my little gem, right? <laughs> Enough of this. You will fall here, Esther. <laughs> no! You treacherous witch! <laughs> Something. That compassion you sacred ones insist on carrying is what makes you so weak. You both will die here. Oh my god, you went Super Saiyan 2. No! Ultra Instinct. Wait, this is gonna be a... Yeah, this is gonna be a playable boss fight. Space shoot, shift dash, C block. Oh, this is like the, the final boss of my cry. Sure about that. Ah, I should block that one. Ah, 
I will rule the underworld. It's over! That was very... That was like... Like early 2000s, late 90s edge. It was also basically the boss fight. Found Whoa, boss from Devil May Cry. You look amazing! Oh, I'm sorry I didn't trust you. Don't be silly. Everything's okay now. I think mom and dad are waiting for you up there. What? You're not coming? The entity said this place must have a ruler. And someone needs to keep all these souls in check. There must always Besides, be a lich king. There's no place for an old girl like me on the surface anymore. I will watch over all of you. Always. Goodbye, Nana. I am so proud of you, Esther. Let's rock. The end. Oh, Isabel's still around. Yeah, we never technically got rid of her. A little teaser right there. I think it's pretty cool how they did the, uh, the menu here. We have not gotten all secrets, although we have unlocked all these. Wow. Okay, so that, that was literally comments. These are literally just arcade games. Oh, that one at least has some themage. Okay. Sky drop. Game. Okay, I get to just what this one is. Alright, yeah, they were just uh, two arcade machines. So, that's it for Mr. Hop's Playhouse 3. So, I think this, this one's going to be controversial. The second game already had, not really necessarily controversy, but there was some people like the original, some people like the second one. There was some ups and downs in that end. But I think this third game... I give them credit for shifting it up and kind of like bringing it to the next generation. I think I've said when I played the demo that it's like it's like they're moving generations of uh, gaming. Like Mr. Hop's Playhouse 2 was basically a Super Nintendo tier game. And this is like PlayStation, N64, early PS2. Uh, as far as scary, I mean, the Mr. Hop's series has never been that scary. But the scariest one's probably the first game. If you had to pick any of them. And then this one would be the least scary. Because this is essentially a um, action... Not quite platformer, but... Basically like an action horror adventure game. Also like a bit like a 3D collectathon. But this also has a surprising amount of production value. Like the VA work, the little anime cutscenes and stuff. So I don't dislike the game. I think it's just... It's very different. I think there will be a section of people who don't like it, period. Because they like the first game or something but i think this game i mean going by the final boss fight like it's it kind of knows what it is it's very schlocky in a good way and i enjoyed it because of that like i enjoyed the cliche demon like yes you gotta work for me and you 
your nana sucks. And then we turned into a demon angel devil may cry thing, and then we had a big epic boss fight with metal music and like butt rock. So it, it's completely silly. It's almost like a weird self because Mr. Ops itself was already somewhat parody-ish. This is like a, a real self-parody. Not to the point where it's dumb, because self-parody sometimes gets real dumb, where it's just like, hey, look, we're self-parodying. This one is more of the proper one where it's, uh, it's played straight in the context of the universe and the writing. But to us, like, we can tell, like, you know, there's a little bit of a fun aspect there. But yeah, overall, I had fun with it, and I think that's the best way to sum this one up. I had fun with it. Anyway. So, thank you all for watching Blade Mr. Hop's Playhouse Triple. I'll see you guys later and take it easy.